Hi everybody, I thought I would do a live recording of the process I use to update my console servers to DAISY Update 1.24. So we're going to go through how to update a PlayStation DAISY Community Nitrado server to 1.24, which is the same process for an Xbox server as well. Um, so if you're a bit unsure about how to do it, you can follow what follow, follow along to what I do here. So we're going to be making sure that the server's been updated, we're going to uh, look at the mission files to show you that they don't get updated when you do this um, And then I'm going to show you how to update them to 1.24 and then we're going to kind of finish off with updating the server to my uh, Custom files. So if that's something that you're interested in um, I'll show you how to do that as well So what you want to do is have a read of the daisy update 1.24 blog I'll put a link in the description below this video because there's some interesting stuff here that explains what's in 1.24 But also what is coming this year very exciting and then we want to go over to nitrado and want to jump into the web interface for our server And that will then take you to the dashboard and what we just want to see is that the server's running version 1.24, as you can see here. So we know the daisy server.exe has been updated, but that doesn't mean that the mission files have been updated. They're the files that have all of the stuff, all the loot that spawns in your server, specifically the new stuff, like the new Vico rifle and the new helmets. It doesn't update those, and I'm going to show you how to check that as well. Because, excuse me, if you go into your file browser, just had a big can of Pepsi, and then go into the DB folder. And then if you go to the types and if you download the types file and then open it in your favorite text editor, as I have done here, and you do a search for VIK, you'll see that it's not in there. There's no reference to the Vicar uh, rifle. So we know that the types hasn't been updated. So what we need to do is we need to revert all of the files to 1.24 vanilla and luckily if you're running on console this is incredibly easy to do so if we go back to settings general and then we scroll down you're looking for oop, where are we reset mission xml to default there we go now what will happen is when we tick this box and then when we click save and then we restart the server all of the files that are on the server will be, all the mission files will be set, sent to 1.24 vanilla. So it's important before you do this that you realize that any modded files that you've done in terms of changes to existing ones will, will, will disappear. So if you've got a types.xml, for example, that's got more loot in it, that's gonna be gone when we do this. It's gonna be replaced by a 1.24 vanilla file. So before you do this, if you haven't got backups of those files, obviously you wanna download those files and you want to add the new stuff in. Now, in the description below this video, I will also put a link to my video tutorial that tells you how to update your files to include the new 1.24 stuff. So if you haven't done that already, you can have a go at that. Now, for me, on my server, the only thing I'm really worried about is my um, uh, cfggameplay.json because some of my servers have a uh, custom buildings on them so I just want to make sure before I go through this process that I scroll down and I'm just looking at the uh, the uh, what is it the object spawner array line there, there we go because on a couple of my Livonia servers I have something called Dodger's pub so Dodger was a um, close member of the community who unfortunately passed away a few years ago but the built one of the buildings that he wanted on the server when he played on it was a pub and so we've kept that pub in Livonia, so it's a nice place for people to visit and pay their respect. But as you can see, on this particular server, there is no object spawner array details there. So that is fine. So we're almost good to go. The next thing I want to do is I just want to go to, um, here we go, I want to go to, where are we? General configuration profiles. And we want to just create a config profile. Now, we normally only do this for wipes, but it's always a good good idea to do it just as a backup. So we're just going to call this um, one, two, four, backup. We're not going to use it unless we have to. But we're just going to create that. There we go. So just in case something goes wrong, we've got a set of uh, these settings save. And what those settings are, it's all the settings in the general stuff. So the name of the server, your whitelist, all that particular stuff. I've also got ready to go my um, custom files as well. So they're the ones we're going to upload in a minute. So we're almost ready to go. So go down to here. So reset mission XML to default. Now you would go onto your Discord or your Facebook group or whatever and tell people, look, the update's happening now. So I'm just going to save that. 
there's a lot of waiting around when doing this stuff. So that's now saved. And now we're just going to restart the server. So we hit restart. And the server is going to go through that. Now, this isn't a reinstall. It's not wiping players' progression or getting rid of the bases or anything like that. It's just to do with the file. So people, when they log back on, when this process is all finished, they'll have their existing character and they'll have all the, the stuff that they, they should have done. But the files will be reset to 1.24. So we just wait for this to happen. Let me just have another drink of my Pepsi. Apologies, what happens is when I do have a fizzy drink, like a Pepsi, it dries my mouth out, so I make all those mouth noises. And also, I end up sort of burping at some point as well. I had a big pizza last night, so I think I'm still a bit dehydrated from that. So it's still restarting. So let's quickly go back to the blog post so you can see so the main things with this update is we've got this new vicar rifle which is very nice uses the 9 by 29 millimeter bullets um so it can take armor piercing ones but they've also introduced this um i think it's a 30 round mag for it as well which also fits the vss and the asval which is very good because it means those guns are now in well overpowered really if you think about the vss with the fact that it has um a built-in silencer as well and you can put a, a 30 round mag on it is is amazing um, daisy in 2024 this year represents a significant departure from our tickle update delivery model nevertheless we will want to be clear that daisy will continue to re receive robust support throughout 2024 and beyond um, as we indicated last year our focus has been on expanding the scope of the daisy brand Significant resources have been allocated to this endeavor and we're poised to showcase the initial outcomes later on this year. It's a colossal milestone and an exhilarating moment you won't want to miss. We're still working out the details, but I'm pleased to share our strategic areas of focus. Uh, continuing dedication to character cosmetics, a rather exotic long range rifle, reworking the sounds of firearms, new action sounds, Right, let's go back to our server. Let's just do a quick refresh just to see how far it's got. Okay, so it's still restarting. Dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum. Another audio angle we commit to is the introduction of nuanced ambient music. That's interesting. See, DayZ used to have, when it was a mod, I think, and pre 0.63, used to have ambient music in it. So that's, that's going to be interesting. It'd be something you can turn off. A richer variety of wildlife, improving the terrain tools for modders, elevating survival mechanics from extreme from extreme conditions snow to medical challenges. This will test your metal and encourage players to adapt their survival strategies and manage their nutrition through an extended variety of sustenance options. Uh, bu -bu. This year will include our usual special occasions like wild purges and Halloween and Christmas. We're also looking to the possibility of hosting new events in collaboration with other games. Legacy DC players will, may have an idea of what we're talking about. So you used to be able to get, for example, Payday Masks in uh, DayZ, which was pretty cool. See how we get them. Okay. So it's still restarting. That concludes DayZ in 2024. We're enthusiastically anticipating a year filled with remarkable journeys, and we sincerely hope that you will join us in experience of the continued evolution of Daisy. On behalf of the Daisy team, Scotty, excellent stuff. Right, let's go back to our server. So it looks like it's finished what it's doing. So let's just go scroll down, reset mission XML to default. We're just going to save that. Bum, bum, bum. That's good. And now, if we go to the file browser now. And then we go to, or we jump straight to types. Now, sometimes this doesn't always work. All right, but if we look on the right side, we can see it now says last edit, February the 20th. So that's a good good sign. Um, but some, because sometimes you get like odd caching problems where the old files will seem to still be on the server when they're not. So we're just gonna download this. We're gonna open it up in our favorite text editor. And now if we do a control F search for VIK, there they are. So we now know, so the new types have got the reference to the VIK. So this server now has been updated to 1.24 vanilla. 
okay so it's got all the latest files on it which is which is really cool that's how easy that is to do so the next thing we want to really talk about is um, up putting my files on it. Oh, I will just add though, at this point what I would do is if there was something in the object spawner array, because this will have been, if we refresh this, this will now be the back to the vanilla version of it. And we can know, we know that because um, things like ignore map ownership is false, ignore nav item is, is false, where with my files it's true. But this is where I would then go back in and I would go down to object spawner array and then paste in the um, references to the custom objects. As you can see, in fact, if we go into this folder here, if we go to the root directory of the mission and we go into custom, the custom directory, we can see that all our custom files have uh, gone. So we'd need to upload those again as well. So that's that's quite an important thing to um to bear in mind and to remember so make sure you have uh, done that okay so what we want to do next is we want to upload our special files so if we just go back to the root directory here go to daisy offline channels plus and then what we want to do is look at our custom files so the custom files that i have that create my server and you're more than welcome to go to my github i'll put a link in the description below this video for these as well and have a look at the readme to see what you get but basically they give you more stuff and make life easier and um, the files that i need to replace on my servers are cfg event spawns cfg gameplay.json cfg spawnable types events globals messages and types so event spawn cfg spawnable types are all in the uh, root directory here they're all here so if I just go upload file and then if I go to where they are on my PC which is in daisy modding 241c and then select that one and that one and that one and I open those and that should have uploaded them And then if we go into the DB directory, and then I go on upload file, and then I need the events, globals, messages, and types, and hit open. They've now uploaded there, so that's good. Um, we can in fact see the time as well as change. In fact, what I could do is if I download this types now, And then we look at that one and we open up this one what we should find is that if we scroll down there we go we've got the ak 101 black spawning in which doesn't happen in the vanilla files so i've updated all the files we're good to go so all i need to do now is just restart the server excuse me and there we go so the server will restart the new uh, mission files will be applied and my uh, changes will will be in effect so there we go that is the process i go through to update my servers what is interesting actually which i didn't or wasn't aware of which you probably heard me slow down a little bit was the fact that the contents of the custom folder have been deleted now that's new that that didn't used to happen so you have to make sure you do back up um, your what the contents of your custom folder which generally will have builds in it that you've previously put in there um, so watch out for that make sure you back that up as well as you know things like settings from your cfg gameplay so hopefully you found this useful if you have it like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and of course if you've got any questions let me know especially um in the um, comments section below the description because i create content based on the questions you have that's enough from me and i'll see you again soon